guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of Sims 4 in the City. So, last episode we went on the most intense saving session ever. We managed to save 50,000 pounds. And then we realized the restaurant that we wanted to buy for Salma was 80,000 pounds. Awesome. So unfortunately, we didn't manage to get the restaurant last episode, but this episode we're gonna be focusing all of our brain power and all of our effort on getting Salma that restaurant. So. Send some good looks, vibes my way and to the way of the Calorie Akins with some thumbs up on this video. Let me know in the comments below what kind of restaurant we should be doing for her. Hopefully I'll be able to get it by the end of this re uh, the end of this restaurant. Wow. Hopefully I'll be able to get it by the end of this episode so that we can... I, I'll, I'll, I'll kind of make the waitress's outfits and the hostess's outfits and all of that kind of thing. Then you guys can give me your feedback of what you want changing and also some hints and tips because I've never run a restaurant in The Sims before. So I'm not 100% sure what I should be doing. So I need you guys help so without further ado let's get on with it guys <sighs> i ran out of steam let's get on with it guys and let's play some sims 4 in the city <laughs> evie why are you not dancing why are you not dancing why don't dogs dance i don't know Okay, <laughs> so back to Sam shoes. There is the restaurant, guys. There it is. I think, I think it's eighty thousand pounds. So just remember that. Remember that, cheekies. Also, we noticed in the uh, Dreamhouse live stream. I don't know why Kira's hair has gone ginger, but it has. So I think the first thing we need to do is go in there and change it. And I think it's time to mix up some uh, appearances anyway. I'm excited for the appearance mix-up. They've had the same things for too long. Time for some changes. I'm feeling really dancey this time. I think I've had too many coffees. So I added all the family back together. If you guys watch the live stream, one of the ways... <gasps> oh, so dancey. So dancey. Look at me on my guitar. I'm going to have to switch you off though, I'm afraid. Because <laughs> you're quite loud. Uh, look at her hair. What is happening, child? Why is your hair the way it is? You look very strange. Very strange. Okay, let's... Uh, oh, Jessie in a badass new outfit. Love that. So I'm 52, more or less, thousand pounds. So, in The Sims Dream House, one of the ways I managed to get the whole... Um, renewal of vows to work and make sure that everybody was dressed right and looked right was by adding them all to the Dreamhouse family. But they are back now, you guys. They are back. So, here is this... I, I like this little cutie pie. I'm not going to change up her look too much. <gasps> look at this. How cool is that? I like these like strange fantasy outfits they give us. I actually think they're very cool. So, I might go for like this cute little sort of uh, French look on her. I think it's quite sweet. I think she'd be down for it. Maybe a little purpley one. <gasps> I kind of like that, you guys. Let's change out her little shoe arenos. See, I like that. I think she looks like really grown up and dignified. I think... Oh, okay. So she's got three looks. Fair play to you, love. You can have three looks. Okay. Let's talk about this hair, hun honey. Because it's just not working for me. It's not your hair. So we actually gave her... Look, these are new hairstyles I've got for kids. So this one kind of like... I don't know if it quite looks like it. It looks like a wig. Looks a little bit too wiggish for my liking. This one I think is really cute. I actually really like that on her. Um, we've got this one, which is the one that little babykins um, Lilith has. <gasps> Baby Jess should have had this hair. Like, look at it. It is pure Jess. Who doesn't get much more Jess than that? Does not get much more Jess than that. I mean, there's some really nice hairstyles here. I think these would be great um, on an adult. I don't think they're available for adults, so I'm going to have to check on that. But I don't really... I wouldn't dye my child, child's hair. I think they're too young for to have the hair dyed, so I'm not going to do that. There's this one, which is kind of a bit simpler, but quite cute. And then this is the one that she was wearing um, on the Renewal of Vows. Again, it's a lot of hair. Maybe a little bit too much hair, but still very cute. Very cute. And then we've got this one. With like the little braids going backwards. <gasps> that could be quite cute on her, you guys. I do like that. Okay, I'm going to go with this one. Because look at the plots. Really cool. Like three on one side and two on the other. Attention to detail. I like that. I kind of thought I'd got... F I downloaded some fringes. But I can't see them. So I must be lying. And then her little day outfit. Let's mix it up a little bit with day outfits. Um... Oh, that's quite cool. 
I used to wear dungarees all the time as a kid. So they appeal to me. What is that crazy noise? Oh, it's the music. I'm looking around like, what earth is that crazy? Like, chick, 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 chick. Uh, I don't think she'd wear any of those. Although she'd make a banging pirate, you guys. She looks badass as a pirate. I quite like this little jumperino on her. And then like, are these uh, leggings? Are these these kind of leggings? No. <gasps> They're like little trousers. Oh, that's quite cute. Or maybe like shorts. Uh, she's got tights on. Let's take off her tights. I think that's quite cute. And then like some little, um, maybe like some little pumps like this. <gasps> really cute. Okay, who have we got next? We have got the Jess. Not the Jess. Guys, if I do it again, you're just gonna have to come around to the house and beat me with a stick. We've got the Rock Serino. Let's change her number one outfit a little bit. I'm kind of enjoying this cute little hoodie and uh, little pants combo. <gasps> Look, the hoodie's got little hearts on the back. <gasps> That's really cool. Okay, I'm gonna give you that. Jess, Jess, my little ray of sunshine, what can we give you? No, 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 you're not wearing those out in public, missus. I don't think so. I do not think so. I like how Jess has got a small butt. She is my, um, my soul animal. What? My spiritual butt sibling. I don't know where I'm going with this, but basically, she's got a tiny butt like me. No butt. No butt, I'm afraid. I'm kind of quite liking, I, I wish she went up a bit higher on her waist, but I'm kind of liking like these sort of like almost summery sort of top and jean combos. I don't think she'd wear pink. I don't think she's a bit pink kind of girl. <gasps> okay, these ones go higher. I like this. And there's less choice, which is great for me. Because <laughs> I can't have too much choice. It overwhelms me. I'm kind of liking these two together. I like those. And then her hair, as much as I love it, I do want to mix it up a little bit. Oh my gosh, imagine. I feel like Jess could actually get away with that. <gasps> and it's the same color. What do you guys think? It kind of attaches a little bit strangely here. But it is a pretty badass hairstyle. I do like it a lot. Where's this one gone? <laughs> oh my gosh, she suits it blonde. Wow. <gasps> that looks really pretty. She's had white hair before. I kind of like pale pink hair on her. <gasps> that looks pretty cool. She's had gray hair before. Although I was looking at my banner the other day when she had, um, oh, where is it gone? <gasps> it was this, it was this. I was looking at my banner when she had this hair and I honestly think this was like my favorite look for Jessie ever. Although I'm kind of liking it like this color, a little bit like, Maybe like this. <gasps> okay, I'm, I'm gonna switch her back to this hair because it is my all-time favorite Jessica's hair. I'm gonna switch her back to this kind of a look. <gasps> uh, Jess, you will always be such a babe to me, just always. Which means I think her like formal version of it should be this. Quite pretty. And then she's got this for all her other ones. Perfect. And that's her like second look. There we go, some new looks for Jessica's. Salma Rudy. What do you guys think of this hair on Salma? I mean, I wish it was a little bit more red, but I actually think that hair looks amazing on her. And it's like tied up and out of her way for like the chefing that she does. I think that looks really good. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, but I think I'm going to give her that hair. Look, this is how it looks in like a sport look. I mean, she could still tie it up for bed, but I kind of want to give it for her party look as well. And I do still like that look for around the pool. Let's give her a new alternate outfit. And then for, I know this is kind of a bit of an out there look, but you know, Salma's gonna become a business owner now. She's always been like very stylish, always wearing heels. And I really want someone to wear this cardigan. I thought this look was quite good for her. Let me, let me know what you guys think. But I like this look for Salma a lot. I'm loving the cardigan. I'm loving her hair. I just think she looks really cool. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And finally, gems. Oh, gems. I'm thinking maybe we change up James's hair, you know? It's been a while. Oh my gosh, so this hair I got for a girl, but you can have it on a guy as well. I don't think so, James. This would be cute on somebody else, but it's not very Jamesy. Long, luscious gems hair. Oh, gems. So pretty. <gasps> this one could work. Uh, I don't know if it's very James. It's nice, but I just don't know if it's very James. I like that it's all shaved like on one side and then like longer on top. I do think that's really cool. <gasps> We've got this like scruffy over one. Oh, actually that's Jay's hair. Kind of two characters with the same hair, guys. We could put him back to his original hair color. Did you guys know that James was blonde as a kid? Oh, I love James. Okay, I might put him back to this hair for a little while. Let me know if you guys agree with that in the comments below. I'm gonna keep his regular day look and just give him an extra new one. 
because I like his look a lot. See, I think that's quite cool. I think James can get away with that. Let's change up his trousers a little bit. Oh, he looks like such a bad boy. Put a timepiece on him. He needs his wedding ring. Why are you not wearing your wedding ring, James? Um, I think those guys, I think maybe they would have gold wedding rings. Salma, you need your, you need yours as well. What are you cats doing? Put your wedding rings on. There we go. So there we go. A little bit of a different look for gems as well. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Down here, down here. I'm eating a block of chocolate that's all melted together into one. <laughs> uh. <laughs> New outfits. Look at this beautiful little French angel. I've still have chocolate in my mouth. <laughs> Everybody's got their cool new clothes on. James hasn't, to be fair, but he's got his new hair. Jessie's got her new hair. We didn't change Roxy's hair, did we? Has Roxy just gone over and complained to Jessie about how messy the flat is? Have you actually just done that? Make up, make up immediately. There you go. Cute beans. That's more like it. Okay. Salma, why are you still, why are you still in them clothes, babe? Let's change back to regular outfits, please. In fact, put new super stylish outfit on, if you will. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. I love this little family guest. They're all so cute and wonderful. Wait, you should be going to work. Good girl yourself. Oh, why is she angry? From loud music. Oh, I can't hear it. Let's turn it off anyway. Wait, it's not even on. Is it broken? It thinks it's playing music. Okay, maybe if we turn it on. Um, What is new disco? And then change the volume to low. Oh, I really like that record player as well, though. I don't want to get rid of it. Maybe if I just move it. Is that it? It's glitched. Oh my gosh, you guys. It's glitched. Okay, let's grab it again. <laughs> There we go. We have to delete that one. Was it there? I think that's where it was, wasn't it? It must be. It can't go anywhere else. I like that it's like a little iPod dock. There we go. There. No more loud music. Everybody's happy again. Okay, you little cutie butts. <gasps> Everyone's vexed by the music. <laughs> if you guys noticed, by the way, that these are these people aren't making noise anymore. Uh, there is a mod that I downloaded that stops that from happening. Jesse, can you repair this, please? <laughs> Roxy, do you need to practice your musics for work? Play an instrument. Where's your guitar? Is it, have you got it on, on your person? Who's got the guitar? Who's got it? Who's got the guitar? What? Where's my guitar gone? What the hell? Okay, Roxy, you're just going to have to practice on this. Oh, Kira says, well, I want to be a ninja when I grow up. What do I need to do now to get ready to start being a ninja when I grow up? So, oh, get a ninja outfit or start practicing your hiding. Hiding! Outfit means nothing. You need your, uh, you need to be able to hide. <gasps> Ali is here. It's Grandpa Ali, everyone. Come say hello to beautiful Grandpa Ali. With his beautiful beard, he's looking very great. <gasps> In the next dream house, I'm going to take off their skin overlays um, so we can see what they really look like as old people. But I almost think this is a nice in-between phase because you don't immediately go from young to old. You have a little bit of an in-between phase, so I think we're all good in that. Oh, you just came in and tipped, uh, tipped Roxy for her shocking playing of the piano there. That seems awfully kind. <gasps> Guys, they've got bills to pay. A thousand pounds gone from the Selma rental fund. I wonder if we can ask uh, ask dad for some money. <laughs> we do this quite a lot, I've noticed. Oh no, she can't ask for a loan. What? Why can't I get a loan from daddy bear? Oh, you've got to be a certain level of confidence, haven't you? You can't just flat out ask for money. I forgot about that, you guys. Okay, so I would quite like um, this sort of cheeky to get really good at the science kit. <gasps> the monster under the bed keeps coming back. You know what, guys? That is one of the issues with, um, with these beds. Because it's a bunk bed, the monster on the top bunk is like always there. And I don't really know how to get rid of him. He's always, always there. Oh, look, she's doing a science and little Charlie's come to keep her company. How freaking adorable is that? Sam is doing some little chefs at home, but look at this. Roxy has been promoted to serious musician. She gets $80 per hour now. She got an off the chart music award and she got a cheeky bonus. Well done, Roxy. Helping out getting all our monies together. Also, some of you guys were asking if uh, Salma and James are gonna have another baby. I always planned for them to have two kids. I definitely did. I was holding off because I didn't want the live stream to like interfere with that. 
But you know what? Now the live stream is done, maybe it's definitely something we can think about. Having another chick, a little baby. Oh, there's the guitar. I don't know why it's moved from its spot, but at least we can try and practice now. Quick, practice before work. Get off the stupid PC. Everybody's always playing Skyrim. You should be playing Guitarim. Oh my gosh, look, if we just let her get this little bit. No, you're gonna have to head to work. You're gonna have to go. Go, go, Roxy, go, go, go. Oh, we never looked at her cool outfit. <gasps> She's got some sort of dots all over her face. Oh no, oh, the babies are back from school. Hey, hey babies. <gasps> oh my gosh, Charlie Rose has got a chemical reaction volcano. Why don't, why doesn't James help you out with that? Start working carefully and James can help you. How cute is this? <gasps> Oh my gosh, Ali did this for you and Jesse. <gasps> What's that crazy noise? I don't I don't know where the crazy noise came from, but look at this. Look how focused James is. He's like, we're gonna smash this volcano. We're gonna smash this volcano. It's looking pretty good, guys. Why don't you come and help out? Um I was gonna call you Cecil. K Kira. You can tell I'm struggling with this. <laughs> with this whole name situation. But I think with three of them sure working on it, it's going to be really good. It's looking really good already. Yay! Oh my gosh, look at that. So cool. That looks awesome. Okay, she needs to put it back in her inventory so she can show them at school tomorrow. What about you, do you have? Oh my gosh, Kira's got one too. Yay! You, we can all help you as well. Uh, I don't think so, Charlie. If you get helped out, then you've got to assist in return. All of everyone assisting. Selma's back. Selma can assist too. The whole gang's getting involved. Oh, look at this. Everybody working on the cute little project together. Oh my gosh, Selma's got the lumps and bumps too. Little dots all over her face. There's an illness going around the house, you guys. Everybody's gonna catch it. Oh, Selma aged up, oh my gosh, to adulthood. Woof. I thought Selma was an elder then, but no. I forgot. Oh, she's so ill. She was a young adult, so now she's an adult. James is still a young adult, and he's got 30 days left. He's quite a bit younger than Salva. Salva, you cougar, you! You cougar! Oh, look at that. Jesse came home with some good monies. She's tense. Come and help out with the project. That's what we're all doing. That's the name of the game tonight. Oh, look at this. Everyone's helping now. It's so cute. It's so cute. Can I do a little... Capture Rooney, there we go. Oh. Some are looking all cute. Oh, look at the beautiful castle. Jesse, you built one just like that as a kid. And now you have helped your little niece to build one as well. Okay, so that is yours, honey. You need to put that in your inventory and show them at school tomorrow. You guys are gonna be doing awesome at school. Extra credits all around. Oh, look at James being a total bean. Oh, giving little Charlie Rose a kiss for sleepies. That's so cute. Oh, I'm tucking her in for bed. Even though she's a little bit stinky, you guys. She is a little bit stinky. Like, I feel like James is just really happy all the time. I feel like life's good for James because he puts good out into the world. So good comes back to him. Look at all these happy emotes. <gasps> he wants to be funny with Claire. You cute bean. I think it's time for everyone to get to bed, though. Bedtimes, in fact... You and Salma, I don't want to make you try for a baby just yet. Guys, it's gonna happen, but not quite yet. Salma's all stinky, but James is like, I love your smell. I don't even care. Even though you're a bit sick. <laughs> Dizzying around there. What, sh what skill are they leveling up here? <laughs> Do I even want to know? What skill are you gaining? <gasps> Jessie's been promoted to pioneer of new technologies. She now makes $187 per hour. She got a 1,136 pound bonus. She got new clothes. I mean, they look the same as before. We might have to wait for the, oh, she may. <laughs> we might have to wait for the next time she goes into work, which is on Wednesday, tomorrow morning. But look at that guys, 62,000 pounds. We're doing pretty good. Everybody come and get this beautiful, beautiful food that Selma has cooked for us all. So kind, so kind. Butternut gnocchi, no less. Some are just walking around in a part in a Calvin's like, yeah boy, yeah boy. Oh, little um, Charlie Rose keeps doing really cute paintings and I keep putting them on the wall. <laughs> Cause they're so good. Oh, should we see what Roxy wears to work? Okay, she kind of wears these sort of clothes. 
Not super cool yet. Hopefully she's gonna get some better ones. Oh, the monster under the bed is back. Can we spray him, please, Salma? There we go. Nice sprays. Nice sprays. Can we read her to bed now? No, they won't. They won't go to bed because the monster. For God's sake. Oh, look, she's drawn a monster now. <laughs> After the monster under the bed incident. Why can't I put it there? I want to put it with the other little pretty drawings that she's been doing. <laughs> what the hell? It won't go on the wall, you guys. I don't understand. <laughs> what? Here we go. That's more like it. I don't know why they're all so straight. I feel like they would all be, like, crossing over each other, but it won't let me do it. So there we go. Little pictures on the wall. I thought you guys uh, might like this. Like, I put the little volcano project there. And then I put the little uh, castle in the corner as well. I know you guys always pick up on that stuff and you always like it. So hopefully you like that. Oh, Ali Aiken's calling to chat to James. How cute is that? Ah, I love them when they be all cutesy and whatnot. Look at this cuteness going on. Honest to God. They're so freaking cute. He's just serenading her in the bathroom. She's just like, I don't really know why this is happening, but I'm enjoying it so much. You're ser like, she literally stood right next to him. Serenade me here, James. Right here. Oh, little beans. So cute. <gasps> What's this? What's this? Oh, it's just a grades are up thing. I thought somebody got promoted. Okay, so Kira's work is satisfactory, so she's only on like a C, I think. But Charlie Rose is on a B! Well done, little one. Well done, cheeky bum. In fact, can we bake her a little cake for that? Oh, she wants she wants some advice. <gasps> I got into a fight about which void critter was the most powerful. Both are equally powerful, child. Okay, let's make uh, Charlie Rose a little well done cake. Or some brownies or something. Oh, baker and apple pie. Yes, that's so cool. Love apple pies. My grandma makes them all the time. Oh, there's just Selma at home with the kids and the apple pie that she's baked. Let's call them to the meal. It's their little well done. At least Charlie's for doing well at school. Although Charlie's gone and got herself real food. There you go. Kira, do you want a nice little slice of apple pie as well? She can't take her eyes off the TV, but she's come and got a slice. Oh. <gasps> James wants to try for a baby with Salma. Oh my gosh. He wants another baby, guys. He wants another baby badly. <laughs> this isn't the first time he's had that either. Like, he's definitely had that aspiration before. 69,000 pounds, guys. We're really close. <gasps> Salma's reached gourmet cooking level 10. She can now make a baked Alaska. And she can also garnish dishes to increase their quality. <gasps> so she's level 10 in cooking and in gourmet cooking. Selma, you absolute pookie. Well done. Well done. And she's got, I like this little rig out she's got on as well. Look at, look at her butt. Selma, you look beautiful. Oh, I never realized how well Roxy and James get along. Look at that. They're like super good friends. That's so cute. I think because of their work hours, they work at the same time. And they're at home alone a lot while everybody else is at work. So as a result, they just became the cutest beans that ever were. Pretty nice end goal, I would say. Oh my gosh, Roxy wants to get engaged to Jessica. Guys, is that something that we should do? Let me know. Let me know what you're thinking. Charlotte Rose has entered the picky eater phase. No, that's a horrible phase. And now the kids are all home alone, doing their little homeworks together. How freaking good is that? 71,000 pounds. We're nearly there. Oh, she can do extra credit work. That's pretty cool. <gasps> James got a raise. Another $10 per hour. <gasps> oh my gosh. Roxy's been promoted to a professional pianist. She makes $87 per hour now and she got a piano. Oh my gosh. The thing is, we don't have room in this apartment for a piano, which means we can go in there, check our family inventory and sell it. Wow, this is taking a really long time to load. And then we might have enough. Let's see. Yes. How much? Surely we'll get quite a lot of money for this. <gasps> Yay! Well done, Roxy. She also got this music award, which we need to put in her room. Is there any room on here for it? <gasps> there is! There we go. Look at her little award. How cute is that? <gasps> okay. I think we have enough now. I'm, just to be sure, I'm going to get to... Uh, I can't just get more, though, can I? I can't just click my fingers and get more money. Why does that plant look all dead? Um, 
let's see if let's see if Salma can buy a restaurant. Please say you can, Salma Cutie Reno. Buy a restaurant. Do it, Salma. Look at a weed in a plant. What a bean. What a bean. Actual bean is lying on the floor, being all cute next to me. And when I said that, she was like, "Bean? Me? Beans are everywhere, Beanie." Okay, the restaurant is in the same district of the city as you. Can we buy it? No! What? We still need 5,000 pounds, you guys. I'm gonna have to get to 90k. This is some serious saving, guys. This is like dream house level saving. Okay, so I think Salma, when Salma gets home, we should have enough money to get the restaurant. We do! 91,000 pounds. She's tense from work, but babe, you've got the perfect thing coming to help relieve that tension. And that is your own restaurant. You're a celebrity chef. You deserve one. And my gosh, have I been playing for a very long time to save enough money, but here we go. <gasps> yes, we can buy it and we still have 2,600 pounds. Oh my gosh, you guys. I've never done this before. It's a Salma Rooney restaurant. It's all hers. Thanks to her amazing chefing. I don't actually think she is the chef in it, which is a shame because she's a 10 out of 10 and 10 out of 10 gourmet chef. She's the perfect chef. She's the chef meister. <gasps> okay. Confirm transfer. Oh, transfer funds from your business to your restaurant. Oh my gosh, so I could transfer everything. I don't think we want that much. What about just 1,000? Okay, so now the restaurant has some money. Oh, I need to go to lessons. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's just, uh, <laughs> let's just, what, what do I do? Is the restaurant open? The customer can't, oh, it's currently closed. Can I open it? Open up restaurant. Oh, make sure. Oh my gosh, okay. I've opened up a restaurant and I have no staff. Do I need to manage, manage employees? Okay, select a chef to hire. We want a really good chef like her. $12 an hour, yes. <sighs> okay, uh, we need a waiter or a waitress. I want a really good one, like him. Yay! And then we need a nice host. A really good one again, like her. I just like the music. One chef I think is enough for now. I think one waiter should be enough as well. You know, it's a new restaurant. We don't really need that many people. We're currently only a one-star restaurant. View shift summary. <gasps> okay. Oh my God, Selma's kind of a bit, like she's a bit stressed from work. But hopefully she's gonna do okay. Salma hired a new chef. What can I, what can Salma do? Can she do any chefing? What can she do to me? Oh, can she chat with them? Why didn't you do nice introductions to all your staff members? Look at our chef with banging hair. Pretty cool. Manage Mackie, oh wow. Promote to chef level three, praise. We might as well just check up on her because you know, we are the best at the chefing. Is this a customer? Who are you? Oh, are these just people eating at my restaurant? I can just go meet them all and say hello. What do these three stars mean over people's head? Oh wow, we've got quite a lot of customers coming, you guys. I may have to uh, hire someone new. <laughs> I wish this place had more friendly service. <sighs> can we uh, Can we ask it to be more friendly? Is this what they think of the restaurant? Is everyone dropping down to number two? Guys, I need to hire another waiter for sure. You guys didn't tell me it was gonna be this hard. <laughs> Two dollars an hour, how ridiculously harsh is that? Why can't I hire you? <gasps> Why can't I hire? Oh my gosh, I can't hire anyone new. Uh oh. Why are these people not enjoying my restauranting? Okay, so these people have been shown to their tables. I'm doing okay, nothing new to report, boss. Why can't Selma cook? Selma is a good chef. Why don't we welcome oh, some people to their tables? Nice. You guys, it's really hard okay. to manage a business. <laughs> it's been over for three hours and already I'm like, ah! can I pr can I promote this chef? Can I get her some uh, pay for training? Standard training, I can definitely do that. I don't mind paying for training for my staff members. I can transfer more money to the business. That's not a problem. I can give myself another 2,000 £2, pounds to help train everyone. 
That's not a problem at all. <gasps> Opinion, all this attention from the owner is making me feel really special. I'm not happy about the wait times. Oh gosh, I need another chef, don't I? The oh no, the restaurant chef needs more training to cook everything properly. Why can't I hire more people? I want to hire more people. I want to hire another chef and train them up. It won't let me hire more people, you guys. Oh, they're locked. Oh, I see. Okay. I can't do it yet. I need to unlock that ability. Give the table free drinks because they had to wait too long for their meal. These people are happy. They're fine. I got his uh, two up to a three. That's pretty good. What are these people doing over here? I'm not happy about the wait times. Oh, no. Why are they over there? They say they're not happy about the wait times. I swear their food is like on their table and nobody's doing anything about it. I can get perks. Oh, wow. So I've got 200 points. I can't afford anything yet. But a chef, the chef's hot. <gasps> oh my gosh, okay. I can't do anything yet, but soon I'll be able to get perks and stuff. <gasps> Look at these guys, they're on four stars. Wow, my meal got here in no time. It's because I prioritized you guys, that's why. <gasps> okay, everybody's starting to get tired from working so long. Okay, I think it's time to, uh, to close the restaurant. Let's stop, no more customers. Let's do that instead. Restaurant, uh, oh, uh oh. Disallow new customers because we're going to be closing once these guys are finished. So therefore, it's just this guy that's left. Hurry up and finish your meal, please. I need to close. <laughs> Restaurant settings. Okay, here it is, you guys. <gasps> okay, so these are my like little restaurant um, chef outfits. I can go into creative sim and change them, but you guys need to let me know what you think of the outfits. Everyone's saying the prices are good. Should I increase them? <gasps> oh, I could do some advertising. I could formal dress code. Okay, you guys definitely need to let me know what you're thinking. The reviews are looking quite good. People like uh, the growth opportunities are the quality of the meal and the service. But people think that the food, um, the, the value at the moment is the excellence. So we're up to two stars. This guy had a great meal. Everybody had a really nice meal. Everybody's gone home and it's time to close the restaurant. So we gained one net profit today was 237 simoleons. Our employee report, uh, they've increased their mixology. They're going to training. Their fitness has gone up. These guys are all getting trained basically. Comedy and charisma. I think that's quite a good first day of the restaurant. You guys definitely need to let me know what you think. And what we should do to improve the restaurant. The, is the restaurant closed? Can I go back home now? Can those guys go home? Can we all go home, please? It's over, guys. You can leave. It's over. It's over. But Salma finally got her restaurant. I think she had a really good first day. Please let me know what you think of the attire. I'm kind of thinking like a purple theme. Or like a red theme to match Salma's hair. So that the Salma Fire restaurant is what I'm thinking it should be. Let me know what your opinions are on that. So Salma's home after a full shift and she's she's been working in a restaurant all day and she's hungry. But hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode. We saved 90,000 simoleons. 90,000 simoleons. That is just insane. Salma got her restaurant. I'm thinking we go with the fiery red Salma theme. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Well, let me know your hints and tips of the restaurant. I mean, I was welcoming people. I was checking up on the meal. If they waited too long and gave them free drinks, if they didn't like the food, I copped it. I felt like I did things quite well. I'm going to do some advertising next episode and they've all had their um, training as well. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. I'm really glad Salma's finally got a restaurant. And I'm thinking, Roxy Reno engagements. Selma, Rudy, and James, um, per, uh, new babies, <laughs> new babies could be on the horizon, but in the city soon. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Sims 4 in the City. Bye!